About a month ago, three friends and I took a train from Chicago to Seattle. The ride was 46 hours long, and that's right, we were in coach. It was honestly a really fun experience, at least for me, because I, I worked on the train. I took a ton of video during this trip, and you know maybe I can convince you to uh, take a train ride in the future. Now, I'm not sponsored by Amtrak. I don't think they have the money to uh, sponsor a video like this because I'm pretty sure they lose money every year. But I've got to say, it's pretty relaxing just sitting back and watching the world go by. Some of the scenery was definitely more interesting than others, though. Starting in the Midwest, it was mainly just a bunch of empty farm fields, you know, rolling plains, some water here and there, classic Midwest stuff. We actually got to ride up along the Mississippi River for a while, which was really cool because it happened right at sunset. So we got some beautiful views. I, I think they time it like this though, they have to. So being in coach isn't actually too bad. There's tons of leg room. Um, the seats recline really far and there's a footrest and even a recliner style platform for the underside of your legs, which I didn't get video of, but it's much nicer than a plane. Now, you don't stay in the Midwest forever. Eventually it turns into the Badlands of North Dakota, which probably distracted me from work more than it should. I've gotta say my favorite part about train travel is that you actually get to get up and move around. So currently I'm actually at the back of the train I'm walking through some of the roomettes that they have on the train, which is kind of like a half-size room and it sleeps two people. Um, and then the next car I'm going up to is, these are the full-size rooms and I think these sleep about four, but why would I pay extra for that when I can live it up in coach? Right now, we're going through the dining car where you can stop in and get a meal, sit down, have a good time. And then this was the car that we were in. And now we've arrived at the observation car, which is where I spent 90% of my time while I was awake. Because why would you spend your time anywhere else? And I'm speeding up this next part because the train just keeps going. So if you're on here, you can really get quite a good walk in just going from the front to the back. Now the, the people on the train might think that you're a bit weird if you just keep going backwards and forwards the whole time, but it can be done. I think train travel is really unique because you get to see a lot of the country that you wouldn't get to during a car ride. Highways just don't take the same path. It's really a one-of-a-kind experience taking the train route. A nice bonus of the specific route that we took is that it goes right through Glacier National Park, which promises beautiful mountain vistas, that is assuming the weather's nice. And as soon as we started to roll into the park, the clouds rolled in with us and it started raining. So you know, it's a real classic Pacific Northwest moment, but it was just kind of sad. We couldn't get as good of pictures out the window, but still beautiful. And then after night two on the train, I wake up to a nice scenery change. The mountains had toned down a bit, a lot more brown. It was very West Washington. And then the next thing that I noticed is when I tried to go into the observation car, they had actually detached the observation car and the rest of the train. I was pretty upset because, you know, the observation car was where I spent all my time. But soon I realized there was actually a big advantage to this. When they took the cars off the back, it exposed a clean window to the outside, which was a very stark contrast to the windows from earlier. It 
if somehow this video convinces you to take an Amtrak train across the country or anywhere, I think coach is doable if you're doing it overnight, but I'd recommend you bring a pillow and a blanket. While the seats have a lot of comfort built in, that pillow and blanket really elevates you to luxury status. Oh yeah, and the train food really isn't very good, so just bring your own. You can get pretty creative with it. Overall, a trip like this embodies the phrase, it's not about the destination, but how you got there. It forced me to slow down, take in my surroundings, and really enjoy travel. By the end, I was kind of sad that I was going to be getting off the train. Then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm in an all new city, there's still so much more ahead of me. So in summary, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Sleep good. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, that counts as swimming. All right, let's go, boys. Okay, I feel like I can swim more now. Okay, go. I did it. <laughs> oh, it's so salty. Okay, my body is cold. I got water in my mouth. Joe, turn it off. I don't know how. <laughs>